So uh, my name is Afreen Siddiqui. I'm a research scientist in the Engineering Systems Division at MIT. Uh, and I do research on systems modeling, design and analysis, uh, most looking at complex systems, uh, recently on energy and water systems. And I've been teaching uh, project management and other uh, analytical tools to engineering students, as well as here for about uh, two to three years from now. Yeah, so this course introduces a suite of methodologies and tools that help you organize, plan, execute and monitor large-scale undertakings where you perhaps may have a number of activities involved, a number of people involved, and complex objectives to achieve uh, under schedule cost and resource constraints. Uh, the methodologies are, have been employed successfully in a number of real-world applications, and we hope to introduce uh, to our students uh, some of the essential concepts uh, that they can hopefully then apply in the field in their own perspective particular projects. Uh, for efficient project management, realizing the inherent tension that exists between uh, scope, schedule, and cost is very real. And really, a key task of the project manager is to balance that tension effectively and to manage that risk. Uh, that's one sort of key takeaway. And the other is uh, that essentially, there is no substitute for good planning and good upfront uh, uh, preparations. Uh, some of the tools that we introduce allow you to do that. So our students are a very diverse group. The students come from a number of different countries, a number of different backgrounds, working for different organizations. So the collective mix is a very uh, interesting uh, group that allows for a lot of in-class learning, uh, not just from me, but from the peers as well. Some of the uh, experiences that some of the students relate are, are quite uh, inspiring and fascinating. Uh, when we're talking about uncertainty and resource constraints and risks, perhaps this is you know, the, the, the most experienced group of all when you're talking about people who have spent years doing humanitarian logistics. So it's very exciting and interesting from a professional perspective. Thank you.